Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 15, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full technical analysis with all the commodities and precious metals that are available on Etero. And you can get access to our signal service and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very really welcome to join. So we're looking here at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards the top of the Bollinger Band and then gave most of those gains back. And now we're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around. So I did expect this to fall towards the bottom of the bullish band here, which is the previous lows today. But no, it did not happen. It rallied. It, it was a really strange trading day. It was basically just back and forwards constantly. And uh, yes, uh, at this point, it looks like we are ready to go to the downside. We are in a downtrend. We have been here for a really, really long time. And uh, the last few days, we have been trading uh, just above the 20 exponential. And now we're probably most likely going to head back towards these lows. There's going to be a lot of stimulus and that will basically work against the US dollar. It will be very bullish for everything else, basically, uh, but not the US dollar. So let's look at oil. You can see that we have uh, we broke down in the early in the session and then rallied yet again. We're at 53.58 at this current stage, or 59. And uh, yes, at this point, I think that we are going to go back down. We are overbought. And it's very strange for oil, which is something that is supposed to be overbought when the world economy is booming, not be overbought when the world economy is basically nearly shut down. So. So this doesn't really make it sense. I am waiting for this massive pullback towards the middle here of the Bollinger Band, roughly a fall of uh, of uh, three point five dollars. That is what I'm looking for, and yes, that's going to be a substantial fall to the downside. Whether or not that is going to happen gradually, I don't really think so. And usually, when it gets uh, this overbought and overstretched, we're also at the top of the Bollinger Band. It usually snaps to the downside and not you're not going to see a gradual decline we're going to see something similar to this fall all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band in one day session so that's what i'm waiting for and um, we are in uptrend we just have to accept that and pull back towards the middle of the bullish band that is basically buying opportunity so let's look at net gas So as you can see, we have rallied today and then we broke back down. And now we are ready to go even further. These technical indicators are turning around. So next target, if we break this um, the 20 exponential moving average, we're heading all the way down to the lower part of the bullish band. And that is at 2.4. That is where we'll find a major support and buyers will come back in. No interest basically shorting this. Um, no interest basically entering this whatsoever. I like to enter this when I know that it's going to um, go almost 100% a certain way. For example, here, when it fell all the way, when it gapped down, it fell down towards the 200 moving average. This is where we basically made our trade. So uh, at this point, I think that we're going back towards the bottom. And then if we break the 200 moving average, we are going lower. Um, and if we rally from here, we'll head back towards the 50 moving average. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have rallied quite nicely. The top of the Bollinger Band here is our target. That's 3.7. Um, if you wanted to enter this trade, you should have entered here, roughly at 3.59. 3 um, so, so um, yes. So, yes. Yeah. There's not much more to say about this. Um, a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is basically buying opportunity. This has been very reliable for a very long time. So, so um, a stop loss right underneath the 20, that is basically your chance for to get, uh, well, quite a big profit here of copper. So let's look at gold. So we have been back and forward, back and forward uh, the last few days. We are fine. We are basically stabilizing here. And that is a very, very 
good sign for gold. We are not breaking down. We are basically stabilizing. And usually we are, we are also stabilizing above the 200 moving average. So that is a, a good sign. At this point, we could we our target is basically the, the highest here of the bullish band. So 1940, that is most likely where we're going to head. It won't happen in one day. It will probably go gradually to the upside, very similar to this. Um, however, if we break below the 200 moving average, uh, we'll head most likely head towards 1800, and then we'll head towards uh, 7050, and then after that, it will break down quite substantially. I just don't see oil, uh, not oil, but gold um, breaking down at this current stage. I have been bullish on uh, gold for a very long time, and I'm still bullish on gold because I think that additional stimulus in the, the world economy in the United States is going to push this significantly higher. So we're still in these parameters. We have the resistance line here, the support line here. We almost touched it today, but uh, we touched it yesterday and then pulled back very aggressively. So I think that we're going to head towards this resistance line. If we break above this, then we're heading to 1950 and then to, to 2000. Break below that, well, that opens the door to catastrophically low levels to be fairly honest but i don't think that's going to happen so silver as you can see we have rallied a little bit giving most of those gains back we are also stabilizing here just above the 50 moving average and i think that we're going to head back towards roughly this area which is at 27.5 and also the top of the bullish band I have no interest in basically shorting this. This looks like it is about to go significantly higher. We have a support line here. A pullback towards the support line is basically a major buying opportunities or even a pullback towards the lower part of the bullish band or the 50 moving average is, are also buying opportunities. Technical indicators are turning around except for the MACD. So let's look at platinum. So we have rallied yet again today. We are getting very overstretched here. We're heading to the previous highs, also the top of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, I think that we're going to see a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, of roughly 10, 60, 60. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, but we are getting very overstretched. We have rallied from uh, 1,005 all the way up to 1118. So pull back towards the 20, that's your buying opportunity with the target of these previous highs. So pallium. Pallium, we can see that we have rallied a little bit today. We are trading above the 20 and the 50 exponential moving average. The target at this point is the top of the Bollinger Band, which is at the 2.467. A break below the 200, uh, the 50 moving average opens the door to these previous lows at 2.280. Um, but it looks like that we are going to go higher here. Uh, we have created kind of a support line here. We have hit it several, several, several times. And it looks like we are going to go gradually higher towards this corner here. So basically a pull, back, a pull uh, rally towards uh, the top of the bullish band, break down, and then just go into this corner. And from there, we are most likely going to rally significantly higher. If we break out of this area, then we are talking about going all the way to 2.785. Uh, that is most likely our next target, long-term target, or these previous highs. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over our Patreon if you want the rest of this access to the rest of this video and our signal service and so on. So, good luck and thank you very much.